the joining of two hearts. And I do believe that I can say that it is about time. Because these two hearts, I'm not talking to old Joe. These two people deserve one another. Can I get a, can I get a witness from the church? In today's ceremony, we are going to witness the joining of Bunny and Scott in holy matrimony. If there's anyone here present today who can show just cause why these two should not be married, y'all should have said something a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> this is not great to <laughs> Don't start nothing, there won't be nothing. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, if you are ready. Yes. Yes? Yes. yes. I would like to ask, who gives this young woman to this old man? We do! Say it one more time! We do! Say! We do! Take her, Scott! Have a seat. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, you can tell this is a, uh, a joyous occasion. Smiles are from ear to ear. Today we come together to witness the joining of these two lives for them. Out of the routine and ordinary comes an extraordinary life. Y'all know that's a lie, right? These people don't have ordinary lives, do they? Do y'all know that? Yes. Everyone here who loves these two know they don't have ordinary lives. These people are not, or were not, lonely. These two people did not go searching for one another. Oh, by the way, Sam, thank you very much. <laughs> She was good because I could read her lips. She was like, sit down. <laughs> These heels are killing me, my God. <laughs> These two people rock the house. And that makes it joyful for us all. They did meet one another. They did fall in love with one another. And today, they're going to finalize it and make each other honest folks. Romance is fun, but true love is something far more. And it's their desire to love each other. And that's what we're here to celebrate. Can I get an amen? Amen! One of my favorite things, when you have weddings like this, one of my favorite things to do is we talk about the bride and the groom. And I was honored when these two asked if I could, if I can be the person here who sends them off getting married today. And I look out here and I realize I've been here for, in Northern Virginia, for about 30 years. And that's about as long as I've known Bunny, about 30 years. We were realistically kids together. We know where the bodies are buried. Oh, I'm not supposed to mention that. Um, and we've been friends all through college. And we had those talks. Uh, talked about love, talked about life and our journeys and the roads that we travel on. I look at Amanda too and I think about, I met her when we were 18. Wow, it's a long time ago. She still looks 18 though. Yeah, Thank that's you. Right. That's right. Amen! Amen! <laughs> uh, so we talked about those things and loved one another in the whole nine yards. She is the godmother to my child, to one of them. Children. Children? <laughs> I will, but we're trying to spread it out a little bit. Anyway, <laughs> Bunny is a wonderful person. And for those of you who don't know Bunny, um, let, me get a, let me get a witness. Don't yell witness yet. Let me get a witness from people who do know her. Let's talk about prison. <laughs> Let's talk about jail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Um, I want you to picture something. Speaking of jail, I want y'all to imagine something for a moment. You're in a strange jail. In the corner, there are people who are looking at you like, wow, you're very attractive. And you're saying to yourself, the man comes in. Johnny Law, he comes and he says, you have one phone call. Now, we have lots of friends and everything. We have buddies, we have pals, we have loved ones. My, uh, one of my oldest friends in the world, I wouldn't call him. How many of y'all would call Bunny? <laughs> I think that's a testimony to who Bunny is. She comes to the rescue of a lot of people. At my own wedding, she took control. I'm going to tell you a serious story. I'm, I'm a teacher. And um, I was teaching at a school that was a wilderness school for boys who had deep problems. And Bunny came to visit uh, her, her godchildren. 
And in the mail, a couple of weeks later, Bunny had bought each one of these boys a gift that she met for only about an hour. It was the greatest thing. These kids don't get much, and that's the kind of person Bunny is. And that's the serious part of who I am lucky enough to have as a friend. The person who I can say I love. Switch time for Scott. Now, the first time I met Scott, we were wearing spandex. <laughs> If y'all look on Facebook, you can see us both. <laughs> I ain't trying to say nothing. I ain't trying to say nothing. What's that? Is it too soon? It was about four years, and again, all friends, why are we wearing spandex? I can't say it was spray face. I mean, why not? I mean, <laughs> but we are out there raising money for diabetes. We were riding uh, miles and miles and miles. I believe it was that the super hot, hot day. I got cramps. Oh. oh my God, it was terrible. But that's the kind of person Scott is. He's a giving person. He's a helping person. He's out there. He takes care of people. What a great connection. But I gotta tell you something, bro. Y'all ready for this? Are y'all ready for this? Yes. Scott, I have to tell you something. Uh, Bunny don't need you. <laughs> <laughs> Bunny does not need you, sir. She's a strong woman. She's an independent woman. Anyone ever try to get in touch with Bunny on a weekend? <laughs> She'll call you, but she says, I'm at, I'm at wine tasting. I'm climbing a mountain. I'm riding a bike somewhere. She don't need you. But she wants you. And after all these years of knowing Bunny, <laughs> I was like, what is she looking at? I know, I like your picture <laughs> And that's funny. What's he doing? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, she doesn't need you, but she wants you. I remember one of the conversations we had about you and your strengths. And you know what? In today's society, your strengths are not admired enough. You know why? Because you have strength as a man. Because you have kindness and generosity, and you are caring. And I saw that at Bunny's mom's funeral. And you were there taking control, taking command, and making sure everyone was taken care of. Even when I didn't have a ride, you know, you gave me a ride back to the house, right? <laughs> Good man, right? Nice man. Strength of man. And that's the kind of person Bunny picked. Because she could have picked. But she picked you. Because she loved you. In her voice, when she told me that you guys were getting married, I haven't heard that joy in years. She had joy, don't get me wrong. Like I said, not lonely. She knows how to have fun. But when she called and said, we're getting married. I think we both went through the roof. Because how good of a man, she, we couldn't ask for a better person. So what you did for her is looking out on the morning rain. <laughs> she used to feel sometimes uninspired. And when she knew she had to face another day, sometimes. <laughs> Lord, it made her feel so tired. Before the day she met you, life was sometimes unkind. But you are the key to her peace of mind. You know why, sir? Because you make her feel. <laughs> you make her feel. Everybody. You make her feel like a because this makes it legal. <laughs> All right, so a good marriage, as you guys already know, a good marriage must be creative. In marriage, the little things mean the big things.
never being too old to hold hands is remembering to say, I love you every single day. Don't forget. It's never going to bed angry. It's to keep the passion and adventure in your lives, especially you guys, because you already set a high bar for each other before marriage. Set it higher for after marriage. It is standing in the line of fire for one another, no matter what, without doubt. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude whenever you can. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget Scott no matter what he does. <laughs> <laughs> it is giving each other an atmosphere in which each other can grow. It is common search for the good and for the beautiful in which you both do wonderful. It's not only marrying the right person, it is being the right partner. So here's the song called Suck. You're already facing each other. This evening, surrounded by your family and friends, loving what you know about each other and trusting what you don't know. At the end of this, can you either agree or not agree? Because we can end this as soon as you can. Do you choose to become partners in crime? and join your lives together as husband, wife, and that cat. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna have to stop right now because I do believe that yeah. cat loves only you. I mean, other oh, than okay. yeah. am I right? Yes. Yeah. That cat? Yes. I mean, I thought it was because I was black, but. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. I was so uncomfortable with that last guy. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you promise to support and inspire each other hand in hand wherever you may travel? Do you promise to honor each other? Do you promise to love and protect each other? Cherish every moment as if it was the last moment on earth. Do you simply promise? Always and forever, each moment with you. And lastly, are these things that you have to put down your checklist? These things that you vow to each other today and all the days of your life. Scott and Bunny, if you agree upon this, will you look at each other and say, We do? We do. I'm sorry, did y'all hear that? No! tear down wonderful things and it's time to build up so the church I'm going to ask you as witnesses in this holy matrimony do you promise to support be loving be a bridge over troubled water a safe harbor in the middle of the storm to bring only positive energy to their doorstep if you promise to keep the path lights lit for this new family then in unison, please say, we do! We do! A little louder, one more time. We, we do! do. Thank you. Oh, I love her. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> that was wonderful. All right, Scott and Bunny, I will ask that you always treat each other with respect and remind yourself often what brought you here today. Give the highest priority of a little tenderness <laughs> greatness and kindness in, that your marriage <clears throat> deserves. When frustrated, frustrated and difficult, sail on down that line. <laughs> As they do in every relationship one time or another, focus on what is still steams right between you. Not only are the parts that seem wrong. This way, when the clouds of trouble hide the sun in your lives, you don't lose sight of it for a moment. You can remember that the sun is still there as it 
you on if you take responsibility for the qualities of your life together, it will be marked by abundance and happiness. May I have the rings, please? Brother, you a little hesitant on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I got a little nervous. You were like, what ring? Okay. <laughs> okay. I was there. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> a little hesitant. Okay. Stop, buddy. Rings are external and visual sign of their eternal bond. It reminds everyone how they complete each other's lives. And it is no it is also a no trespassing sign. Don't come over here with one of your eyes in. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> May the exchange of these rings serve as a symbol of the exchange of your hearts and souls and also seal a vow between the two of you have made before these witnesses here this evening. Bless these rings as symbols of eternal beauty and strength. Bless the couple who gives them and wears them May they live in harmony, unity, love, and happiness from this day forward. And as a final note, and on this matter, may the souls of both of their parents and kin who have passed before of us, for this righteous reason, know that they are happy, they are proud, and they are satisfied with what they see here today. And you are surrounded by love. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen? In closing, to make your relationship work, we will take, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. In closing, let us take these two rings. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna keep them for a little bit. <laughs> Maybe, would you take this ring? Scott, would you take this one? To make this relationship work, we will take love. This is a core of your marriage and why you are here today. But don't forget, to like one another. I think everyone who's married knows what that means. To like one another. If you would, put the rings on each one's finger. Are you clapping? <laughs> <laughs> trust to know that in your hearts you truly want the best for one another. It will take dedication to stay open to one another. It will take faith to go forward together. And it will take commitment to hold through the journey in which you are all upon. So in our final words, I would like to say to you that we love you. And by the powers vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now salute your bride. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. For the first time, I'd like to introduce the bride and groom. Oh, <laughs> boy.